When you listen mm -hmm. to, you'll see. It sounds a little bit as if you were telling yourself, it doesn't matter to me, I'm going to uh, mm -hmm. be able to cope with it. But maybe I'm not hurt. I, I can, you know, it's, life goes on. And yes, it, it has hurt me, but I, I can survive. And that's just the way it is. What about this Spanish thing in it? How, um, how do you feel about this Spanish thing? In, um... I think I must have been Latin in another life or something. Because I've written a lot of songs that have like Spanish themes to them. And I always use Spanish guitar. And I'm very drawn to, to Latin things. So I don't really know. That's just um, an unexplainable influence. I tend to listen to... I'm not really into American music, not new American music anyways. I mean, I listen to old R&B, old soul, old blues records, jazz, but um, I listen to a lot of Latin music. Um, what is the music from right now? From What is the new American music? What would you say? Don't you consider yourself a part of it? I think of myself as an outsider. And not belonging to the American culture mm -hmm. at all. So um, you, you had a quite hard time dealing with the press maybe from a, a little while ago. You just said that you had the feeling people were jealous and they were writing bad things about you. Do you think that something changed in that way? Do you think that the accept acceptance changed? Acceptance by who? Yeah, by the press, for example, of your work, of well, yourself. Well, first of all, the press has always given me a hard time since the very beginning of my career. But, um, There was a period of time, and, and it actually continued for a very long time, since the time that I published my sex book and my record Erotic came out. Um, there have been um, a lot of uh, um, incredibly angry and uh, but transparent things said about me. Yes, from that time period. And there has been, in my opinion, an, an enormous amount of effort put out by an enormous amount of people to try to undermine my, my contribution as an artist and say that I'm not talented, that I can't sing, that I can't act as a sort of way of to, like, to get me to go away, to get me to shut up, to, get me, to punish me, basically, for being a bad girl. And, um, Why do you think? What, what, what do you think they can't cope with what you're doing? My honesty, um, my opinions about sexuality, the fact that I am a woman and that I, am, that I have success, that I have money, that I have fame and I have fortune and that I do it on my own. I don't need a man in that respect. I think that frightens a lot of people. But don't you think... Well, this is just a very personal opinion of mine, mm -hmm. that I had the feeling that in the last two years, or maybe since bedtime stories, suddenly lot, lots of people woke up and said, wow, she's doing great stuff, look at her. I mean, lots of friends of mine, and um, maybe this is not uh, a complete range of people that I can quote, but they suddenly started looking at you differently. Because they saw me as a survivor. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that the press sees you as a survivor now and, and now honors it somehow? Yes, they've said to themselves, oh, hmm, we can't destroy her. Well, maybe we better, maybe we better think twice about it or something, yeah. And all those bad things that you read about yourself, mm -hmm. did they ever hurt you? Or Absolutely. Don't they? Yes. Although you have the feeling it's not true, why can't you keep it away from you? What hurts me is not whether it may be true or not. What hurts me is that so many people seem to take, get so much enjoyment out of hurting other people.